That's the Budweiser coming across the infield as they all now jockey for position. A lot of dicing. Look at those directions yeah. from King Five. It's incredible. Everywhere. Everybody watching everybody now. That's what Again, Steve's from watching. The Pradelco. Steve catching up with those other boats in front, working with that stopwatch. That's the small dial on the bottom of your screen, the smaller of the two that you see. That's the KYYX rooster tail to his right. Straight ahead of him is the Atlas. Now Steve will cut into the infield and he'll pull around. There he is, going into the infield. One minute gun, here we go. Positioning is perfect at this point. Everybody's timing is excellent. The finals of the 1982 Sea Galley Emerald Cup. All the boats packed up already early. That's a sign of good drivers. You're right, Mike. They're all in the back stretch, getting into position where they want to be. The Atlas, I would imagine, trying to get on the inside. One boat way ahead. Who is that? Let's check it out. That's Look Kawaguchi the pulling Kawaguchi. off the course, as they Will must. Will Muncy going into the infield, and that's where he'll watch the race. Best seat in the house. Approaching the north turn. Under 30 seconds. On the inside is the Atlas van lines. The Budweiser next to him. Now this is what Steve Reynolds sees in the Pradelco Mr. Otto. Under 20 seconds, coming up on 15. It's gonna be a good start. They're awfully close on the clock. Great positioning by all the boats. It's Atlas in the inside of the four boats. It's the Kenny Toyota on the outside of the four that we see. Here they come. Three seconds, two, they're all too fast. It'll be close. Budweiser getting possibly the best start. The Budweiser in the lead on the outside. That is the Kenny Toyota on the inside. The Blue Blaster, the Atlas band line. Produco in between the Bud and the Atlas as they head into the south turn. Reynolds, lots of water in front of him, as you can see, as they go into that south turn. Atlas on the inside, chips right where he wants to be. Oh, what a great turn he made, too. The skid fin digging in as he heads down now the back chute. A marvelous start for Chip Hanauer. Look at the difference between Chip and the second place boat, which I believe is the Fidelco. Chip Hanauer, the man who's trying to get that one and only victory in Seattle. Budweiser is in second place, but he's way back. The Fidelco is in fourth. In third place right now is the Kenny Toyota. The leader, Hanauer. They've got a new engine and a new propeller for this, the final heat for 1982. Hanauer coming up to complete lap number one. He's four laps away if he can hold his position from his first win in Seattle. Chip Hanauer, lap one. Second place, the Budweiser and Ron Armstrong. Speed for that first lap, 122 miles per hour. The Atlas ran at 127 in the first heat. He's at 122 on the first lap into the final here on Lake Washington. Four and a half second lead for Hanauer ahead of the Budweiser. The Tempest and the KYYX just coming out of the north third while you see Hanauer coming out of the south. All boats still running. The difference, Hanauer on the left of the screen, the Budweiser, Armstrong on the right, and the Bredelko on the far right as they come out of that south turn. Chip Hanauer, rocking and rolling, going down the back chute past the log boom. The boat was performed beautifully. There's the Budweiser, Ron Armstrong. They got it ready in time to race in Seattle. Bernie Little said, we're not gonna miss Seattle. Six second lead for Hanauer, and there's Rod Snyder in the Kenny Toyota, the winningest hole in the business. Again, back to Hanauer in the north turn. Bredelko is in fourth place. Toyota, Kenny Toyota, third. The Budweiser second, and there's the leader. Completing lap number two, Hanauer, the Atlas, the Blue Blaster. Second place, Armstrong in the Bud. Lap speed, 117 miles per hour for the Atlas. Ron Snyder, third place in the Kenny Toyota Volvo with those big old Allison and Steve Reynolds, fourth place. Producco, Mr. Otto, seven second lead now for Hanauer as it goes into lap number three. You can see the difference there. Chip is running beautifully today, flawlessly. He's one of the most intense drivers. He says he really has to keep himself toned down on race day, not to get too worked up. We have one boat going dead in the water. It appears to be the KYYX on the back chute nearing the north turn. And that's where the Atlas is headed right now. You may see him go by Brenda Jones. Chip Hanauer, 
a new engine, a new prop. They protect him throughout the day for that final heat. Into the north turn. Budweiser hanging tough back there. KYYX out of the way. She's gone way wide in the north turn. Nice move by Brenda to get out of the way. The distance between first and second place. Completing another lap. Jim Panauer, second place to Budweiser with Ron Armstrong. Lap three speed for the Atlas, 115 miles per hour. He's got 122, 117, and 115. Third place both. Snyder and that Toyota under the log pool where the people are watching. And there he is, a beautiful shot of that brand new boat going through the Lucero design hole. Marvelous machine with those big Merlin engines. Who knows if they'll go on to the Griffin engine next year. The boat that made the Griffin famous, of course, the Budweiser. But they may stay because of the design of this boat, of the Atlas. Maybe they'll stay with the Merlin. After all, they have a world record. A world record on this course, the two and a half mile course at better than 140 miles per hour. Steve Reynolds completing lap three now, coming across, taking it easy on his engine. But Hanauer in the meantime looks like he's well on his way. He's here, he's going down the back seat on lap number four. About to pass Jack Schaefer Jr. in the Tempest. That boat is so consistent, Hickling's Hall, that, that engine and the boat just keeps running. Six second lead for the hand for Hanauer and the Atlas. Schaefer may want to give him a little race right here. Maybe he's got some nitros left. Hanauer driving superbly, doing fabulous. Marvelous job by Chip Hanauer. Budweiser, second. Again, the Atlas slowing down a little bit more. 112 miles per hour now in lap four. He's got one more to go, and he'll have his ultimate summer, as he said. If he could get this win, the difference between the Atlas and the second place boat, the Budweiser. Tempest on the inside. There's the Bud. Run Armstrong, a fabulous job today being able to handle that boat along with the help of Dave Cully, the crew chief, getting it dialed in well enough to compete today. A familiar sight, Hanauer in front with that orange helmet flying along. There's the difference now between the first and second place boats. Past the yachts, all the boats on the east side of the course. Riding beautifully over that choppy water. The Atlas II was a little light during the week. They had to tone it down, make it less responsive, less lively. Five second lead now for Chip. And here comes what looks like to be the winner for today. Chip Hanauer, the ultimate summer has arrived. He's a winner in Seattle. Second place to Ron Armstrong and the Budweiser. The Bud is back. with Ron Armstrong, and you just shook uh, Chip's hands as he went by. Uh, what happened to you, for first of all? Uh, well, we ran where I thought we belonged to run under the conditions, uh, especially the accidents today. We wanted to make sure we were safe and sane, and, which we were. And it's a, an incredible turnaround from what happened last week to what has happened today. You, you, you ran beautifully. Yeah, well, for me personally, you had to remember, I just came here to, you know, watch a boat race, now to come in <laughs> second place. Well, I'm, I'm obviously divided by that.